For the past two weeks, my cat Theodore and my dog Hammy have been forming a secret alliance and they're quickly becoming a very sneaky team. Hammy's stumpers are six inches and his bread loaf is 25 inches, so we felt that a 34 inch counter height was enough distance to keep things out of reach. But Hammy has learned that patience is a virtue so long as you have a cat friend with counter access that likes sharing. And lately, Hammy hasn't even had to wait. Theodore has begun noticing whenever Hammy wants something on the counter, so he'll stop whatever he's doing to run over and get the treat for him. He's turned Theodore into a doggy DoorDash that he doesn't even have to pay for or tip. Theo just hand delivers him treats and heads off to do his own thing. So now Hammy's little stumps are able to reach the counter, all thanks to this feline Robin Hood. My dog Olivia has an emotional support pillow. She uses it to charge her social batteries away from her brother Hammy, who has a hard time respecting boundaries in personal space. She loves Hammy, but she's an introvert that needs her place of peace and this pillow acts as her safe space. That all came crashing down last week when Olivia's emotional support pillow got caught in the middle of a Hammy temper tantrum. She hasn't used it since. It's okay, it's your favorite pillow. So we did what any self-respecting dog parent would do and took her to pick out a new one. But Hammy has separation anxiety, so we brought him to. He just couldn't be in the cart with Olivia and her potential emotional support replacements. We knew the store aisles wouldn't be the proper place for her to test drive the pillows, so we got a lot of them to bring home for her to choose. Like, a lot. A lot, a lot. But in the end, Olivia was able to choose her new pillow pal and all was forgiven. <coughs> Hammy just needs to get used to his introverted sister having time to herself to charge again. <laughs> Smile. It is the only thing that makes us feel alive. <laughs> we keep this love in a photograph. Oh. We make these memories for ourselves. Where our eyes are never closed, our hearts are never broken. Time's forever frozen still. Can you smile? So you can keep me inside the pocket. Careful up there! Tape silent. Good. Go time. Thank you! And vulnerable. Uh -huh. Oh dear. Help! Shush! That's the bird! I mean, really. Is there anything else I can help you with? They couldn't do this as like a, like a Zoom or a Skype event. Why would they do that? You should tell them you're sick. No. What if it rains? Then we'll go inside. What if you have to poop? I'll use the restroom. But what if they don't have Febreze? What? What if it is a stinky one and they don't have Febreze? Then... I'll just... You'll what? I don't know. Blame it on the person before me. But imagine there's a pretty girl outside the bathroom door waiting to use it. You would be ruined. No, I wouldn't. Yes, huh? Because pretty girls have pretty friends and all they do is talk about boys. It's kind of sexist. See? You're kind of sexist! You want everybody to find out? I'm not sexist! Stinky boy. That's what they'll call you tonight at the party. No, they won't. The brown banana. Ew, stop. The poop fruit. I hate this. The potassium butt assy. That's not your turn! Run. Turn right. Right! The other right. Ah! Holy cow! That's my Tuesday! What are your plans with this butchered steer? Don't eat it! So, just a Tuesday. Right. Whoa, nice steak ham. That's my Tuesday, John! So what are you doing with it? Ain't I good? So a Tuesday? The fat one! What the fuck? Oh, me! Fuck you! Yesterday was a disaster when Hammy spilled the beans. Sorry! They let out a pretty big secret. 
They've made over a thousand personalized videos for their fans, but when they get the chance to start offering them for free, they make a pretty big deal out of it. Hammy's been embarrassed ever since he leaked the news, and we've been all trying to keep it under wraps, except for maybe Olivia. They're offering free personalized videos to friends that pre-order their cookbook with over 180 pages of dog-friendly charcuterie recipes. And Chef Hammy is pretty eager to get started, even though no one has entered to get a video yet. Ham! So click the link in our bio to pre-order your copy of Barcuterie and enter to get a personalized video from Hammy and Olivia. No, no, stay, stay, <laughs> stay, no, <laughs> stay, no, stay. <laughs> Hammy fought a chicken, and while he didn't want to, it was a last resort after seeing how much a dozen eggs cost at the grocery store, so stealing from a farm seemed like the only logical choice. You first! It's not our proudest moment. <laughs> oh my God! So what started with Hammy getting an egg salad craving eventually culminated to a trip to the hospital. But when you write a cookbook for dog-friendly charcuterie boards, you go to whatever lengths you can to perfect your recipes. So we got our stolen eggs boiling and grabbed a loaf. Uh, a bread loaf. But we're a little extra over here, so we grabbed our cookie cutter to make them shaped like corgis. Ten hard-boiled eggs, two cups of cabbage, a cup of dill, and one cup of mayo is all you need for an egg salad Sammy. Sammy for Hammy! And in our home, meals are always better when we get to share them with our furry best friends. So while we don't recommend raiding a chicken coop, we do think it's worth pre-ordering Barcuterie for less than 20 bucks. The link is in our bio, friends. Excuse me, bro. You're excused. And I'm not your bra. Where's my legs? Can you sprout an arm? I don't know. He sees hum. Honey bag. Hummies? Oh, dear. Whoa, there's one. Open the door or I'm going to throw rocks through your windows, you dumb whore. You can eat corgi butts. <laughs> we wanted to toast our new marshmallows, but our family doesn't have the best track record when it comes to fire. So this time we hired Hammy as our fire safety inspector to make sure the house doesn't burn down while making corgi butt s'mores. And since s'mores need a fire, we built ourselves a fire pit because, well, we have time on our hands. It was a pretty easy assembly, but took longer than expected since Hammy and Olivia didn't feel like lending a paw to help. After a quick fire safety course from Inspector Ham, we felt comfortable enough turning on the gas and revving up our new balcony fire pit. We finally got around to lighting some momos on fire, but as good as these fire pit treats tasted, Olivia still felt violated by the whole thing. Happy birthday, look! Language. Make a wish, Olivia. That's it. That's it, she is. Oh, ah. Ah. Ru -ru. Oh, this. Earthquake. This isn't dramatic. Let's go. Still, my wish. Yeah, birthday was two days ago. That was new. Make a wish, Ham. Ponies. After you blow out the candle. Put in the cart before the pony. flight was just canceled? Can you walk? From Denver to New York? Yeah. Can you rebook my flight? I don't know!
I need a new flight. Oh, good! They are flying on Southwest Airlines. Well, over 2,000 Southwest flights canceled today. Am I all set? Oh, 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 this is Hammy. He's always the life of the party until there's an actual party. You see, Hammy likes to eat. And since he invites himself to every snack he sees, he's had to spend a lot of time behind his doggy gate whenever the humans host their families and friends. Easter, 4th of July, Christmas, and countless other events were never kind to Hammy. So he had a thought. If he could make a charcuterie board that both humans and floofs could enjoy, Hemi could spend more time being the life of the party rather than being a doggy gate stowaway. So the little chef got cooking. A lot. So much so that his tiny paws wrote a cookbook that he slyly titled Barcuterie. His mission to ensure that none of his floofy friends will ever be denied a tasty morsel again. Heroes come in all shapes and sizes, and Hammy definitely isn't one of them. He's just a hungry little hippo that likes to party. <laughs> Jenna Ortega's dating Pete Davidson? No way! Let that sink in. Okay! What's that, Liv? Ah, what? For what? Good luck! <laughs> Simon! His vitals are slipping. Clear! He's flatlining. Oh dear. Ah! Oh, dog! Is this optimal acceleration? My Corgi flooded Las Vegas. It all started when Hammy ripped his dinosaur toy and couldn't play tug of war with it anymore. The good news is his pal Josh runs an unlimited toy club for dogs, but the bad news is Hammy had to deal with Josh's new head of customer service who doesn't really know what he's doing. Josh's weakness is that he really loves dogs, and sometimes he can trust them a bit too much. And when you run a service that promises unlimited toys, it's easy for them to sometimes get carried away over there. We've seen crazy things happen, like a chicken army show up to fill a bathtub for Hammy, but we've never experienced a torrential teddy bear downpour in the middle of the Las Vegas desert. <laughs> Josh! Thanks to Josh's customer service team, we may have to use an umbrella for the very first time. Hit up Josh if you want to get unlimited toys for your dog. It's worth it. Just be careful what you say on their website. Wait, is this fucking play about us? My cat is a nightmare. Theodore has enjoyed making a habit out of adding texture to our living room couch. But our dog Hammy has been our little enforcer. We have tried a few tactics such as moving him to his bed or a nearby scratching post to discourage the activity, or even putting up cat protectors. It hasn't been working and he's continuing to find areas to claw. It's been fascinating to watch how much Hammy has taken it upon himself to keep Theodore in line. He's seen us discipline Theodore enough to know that the couch is important to us. Now, Theodore checks to see if Hammy is watching before going to destroy our favorite piece of furniture, and even though he can't help himself sometimes and has to dig in, Hammy is always nearby as the living room enforcer. <coughs> Hammy and Theodore are best friends, so the couch doesn't get in the way of their friendship, but when it comes to protecting our couch, Officer Hammy doesn't let their friendship get in the way of his hall monitor duties. Sweet potato casserole. Oh dear. I'm your potato. They're sweet potatoes. I'm not sweet. They're just yams. Call me him. My name's him. Just him. No. They still love you. You pick up the turkey? My 
My corgi flooded Las Vegas. It all started when Hammy ripped his dinosaur toy and couldn't play tug of war with it anymore. The good news is his pal Josh runs an unlimited toy club for dogs, but the bad news is Hammy had to deal with Josh's new head of customer service who doesn't really know what he's doing. Josh's weakness is that he really loves dogs, and sometimes he can trust them a bit too much. And when you run a service that promises unlimited toys, it's easy for them to sometimes get carried away over there. We've seen crazy things happen, like a chicken army show up to fill a bathtub for Hammy, but we've never experienced a torrential teddy bear downpour in the middle of the Las Vegas desert. <laughs> Josh! Thanks to Josh's customer service team, we may have to use an umbrella for the very first time. Hit up Josh if you want to get unlimited toys for your dog. It's worth it. Just be careful what you say on their website. The houses do leave cookies out. They do! Open the door! Who is it? Pam! Pam, some sticks! Leave it on the doorstep and get the hell out of here. Huh? I'm gonna give you to the count of ten. Two, one! To get your ugly, yellow, no good keister off my property. What's a keister? One, two, ten. I got to make you very see steak ciders. But it's being cut onion. Shit. 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 These are mine. Yep! We have a sale! On my shoes? Yep. Thank you, sir! Where's the second shoe? Buy one! And get one! That's not a BOGO. Want to buy one more? What? You're scamming people! Scratch oh! Cha ching These aren't baby rhinos. It's actually Hammy and Olivia over two years ago. And it's always shocking to see just how heavy they were when we first started posting videos. We were just feeding them the recommended amount on the kibble bag, and it wasn't until our vet let us know that their weight was getting out of hand that we decided to wake up and really evaluate their diets. Switching to a fresh cooked diet like the farmer's dog was the jolt their systems needed. We were able to feed them real meat and veggies with no artificial fillers or preservatives. As high quality as the food is though, it would mean nothing without portion control, and that's where kibble bags fail, because standardizing portions is saying all dogs are the same, and simply put, they're not. The farmer's dog took the time to learn Hammy and Olivia's breed, age, activity levels, body type, and so much more so that their team of experts can tailor a pre-portioned meal plan that's designed specifically for them and deliver it right to our door. Just check out these defined waistlines. Click the link here to tailor a plan for your dog. It even includes a 60% off discount on your first order. What's stopping you from giving it a try? My cat made a strange noise when he saw a hummingbird recently. 
We don't have a ton of them in the desert, so we wanted to see if we could get more to come around to entertain Theodore. So we grabbed a hummingbird feeder and started on some homemade nectar that only consists of two ingredients. After mixing one part sugar to four parts water, it was time to boil the liquid and allow for it to cool. And that was really it before filling it to the top and placing it in a convenient spot for the birds to find it close to Theodore's windowsill. And wouldn't you know, the hummingbirds started coming, leaving our cute little apex predator to do what he does best, hunt. Now Theodore has endless bedside entertainment. Come on! The launch angle is too narrow for the hippos. No, boy. Just push hard. Okay. Yeah. Which pumpkin can jump the highest? You don't want to do this! Listen, I've been a good boy! I've been a good boy! Please! I've been such a good boy! Don't do it! No! Hi, <laughs> uh, Georgie. Oh, no, Georgie. Oh, no. Do you want a balloon to a Georgie? Do you have snacks? Come quick. Oh, boy. How was the library? I got kicked out! Why? I was looking for a book to read, and I found one with clowns! Nice! But the clown was Skippy! Ah! Did you make a lot of noise? Yeah, she didn't like Emmys, and they took my library card! Sorry, pal. Do you prefer the works of Stephen King? I like Muppets! Right. There's one! Tammy, you're collecting fans? That sells them! What? I'm rich! What else are you selling? Just fans! I need fans! See? You have to sell like a thousand... There we are. What are you showing only fans? Your box! Your Momo! <laughs> this one's good! Hammy, what are you doing? Repairing some roofs, sir! Need a new roof? Hammy, you live here. Is that so? I guess I do! Have you done this before? Next door! Oh my god. It 
left. <laughs> well, we're having a sale. Place your bet. Is someone pregnant? Yeah, Panda. Gosh. Oh dear. Boy or girl? Good. So wrong. We're certain Panda's female. Absolutely riveting. Uh, I'm colorblind!